three one three time, baby. I uh, was watching JB's tutorials last night on how to do a three one three, and like I've I learned them when I was younger. I can do them, but they just scared the hell out of me, and I never really learned the right technique for it. Like I can muscle it round, but it's not pretty, and it certainly doesn't feel good. So today. I'm going to I'm going to go and uh, make friends with the 313. We'll start front side, see how we go. Maybe we'll get onto back side. Stay tuned because you definitely don't want to miss this. You don't want to miss it. You do not want to miss it. I can tell you from previous experience this man does not like doing this trick. Can you believe that? The oh. world champion can't even do a bloody 313. I can, I just uh, don't like it. Uh, I might even have to go IWWF steez without the shirt. Yes. I don't know, I don't know if it's... Inga, do you think he can do it? Yeah, of course, everything. The, three, the, front, the front side 3 on 3? Yeah, no problem. I don't know about this one. Sure. <laughs> At least Inga supports me, that's more than you do. Three. So, I'm currently walking over <laughs> to the other side. Belize, one of the guests on our camp, is also going to be trying the 313s. He's been trying them backside uh, for quite a while, but he's just actually been getting caught up in the blind judge. Um, I myself can actually do both front side and backside 313s, so this is going to be quite entertaining for me to watch the boys trying it. Um, and yeah, we're going to see how they get on. Let's go. Yes, that was sick. Belize nearly got it. So when you when you get up the pull and you got to turn your head much quicker. When you go up and you pull it down past that handle and then bring that arm round. At the moment you're just passing it and keeping it in your left hand there. You got to really tuck it into your into your leading hip again. Surely he's going for it first lap. Let's have a look. <laughs> Gee, you need a heavy release! <laughs> yeah, heavy release! <laughs> Try and pull strong with two hands, Belize. Yeah. Yeah, just like that. Oh no, look at the rollers, look at the rollers. That's not what he wants, but is he going to go for it? Let's wait and see. Yeah, but you've got to keep two hands on. Yeah! Here we go. We've got the one and only Uzma. Uzma! Uh, no, that's all right. How are you? <laughs> Uzma actually taught me and Liam how to wakeboard. Fun fact for you. Come and, come and tell some stories. What are me and Liam? Come, come and stand there with me, Uzma. There we go, he thinks he's got it. Liam, yeah. I would always forget his name. Yeah. And he'd kind of look at me, and then one day you came on the dock. Yeah. So I'd always call him Ryan, and you just like came over to me and said, remember L for little, Liam, little, L for little, Liam. I was like, okay. <laughs> Not so little anymore. Not so little anymore. Now, I'm surprised you haven't started calling me Liam now, the little one. Oh. He's not taller than me, but he's certainly oh, a lot bigger than me. You're, you're taller though, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, just by about this much. Not much in it nowadays, I tell you that. 
I tell you what though, Ryan, I'm impressed by you in the mornings. Why's that? You're on it with your running and everything. You know, got to be getting out there. Athlete mode, Usma. I know. I was. Li I saw you. I was sitting on my bed thinking, shall I have a coffee? What shall I do? Shall I go for a walk? <laughs> and then I see you. Oh, there you go. Five. Yeah, cheers, Usma. Just been trying to, uh, you know, go athlete mode this year and actually start taking care of my body a bit. Yeah, but you did for a while. You had your like. Fitness yeah, I had a little, I had a little too. stint of it, and then, uh, and then now I realise actually like stretching, a bit of running, good workout every now and then does you right, it physically does you and right. mentally. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Oh, there's Belize. There's Belize. <laughs> Yeah, it's sick actually being able it's to lovely. just travel with Liam all the yeah. time and it's like having like a best mate. Well, he is my best mate yeah. really, but... Best mate and family. It's and he's like a legend. Proper are. legend to think he used to be that little goofy kid. <laughs> and now here he is, absolute machine. Yeah, Jay! <laughs> Belize, you kidding me, man? That's insane! He lands it fully wrapped. <laughs> On the front, sir! Oh my lord! Oh <laughs> <laughs> ah, man! Belize with the Euro carve out. Here we go, he's surely got it on this one. He's just got to get that last 180 round a little bit faster. If you guys have been enjoying this video so far, please make sure to like, subscribe, and make sure to keep watching because you don't want to miss what's coming next. Please. Man, you just got told off by Masoot. One tip which I did find really, really helpful when I was learning the 313s is actually loading up your front foot just a little bit more than you expect. A lot of people think that if you actually go for the front side 313, then you can load up the back foot, stargaze it a lot, and then get that last 180, but it actually makes it a little bit more difficult. So if you can really try and load up that front foot a bit better, then when you pop up, you're going to pop almost like backside 90, but it's going to give you a lot more time to get that handle pass and a lot more to pull with. You can see very clearly in the clips that he's actually spending a lot of time trying to get that handle pass and that is what is causing him to really fumble that landing. With the 313, you need a strong release a fast pull and handle pass so that then you've got time to prepare for the landing. If you're spending a lot of time on that handle pass, it's gonna make it a little bit harder. So let's see if he can make the change and land it clean. Here we go, he's surely got it on this one. He's just gotta get that last 180 round a little bit faster.
you you take in so long on the handle pass that's the problem oh that's Belize <laughs> that's a problem there <laughs> when you get when you get to the top you gotta like pull it fast look at how your that right yeah. hand is coming off so early you've got to like you, you have that hard release and then at the top you've got to pull it with the two hands because right now look you I don't get how I get the handle any quicker than that that one was better did you see but you had look, look how much more you had you had two hands on the handle it's for hard, man. Oh, watch you had the heavy release boom I wasn't much earlier on it, but I think it's that like as you as you go up, you pass, you've got to then get that left shoulder like round and use use your right hand to then pull it like that, you know? I honestly can't figure out how you I can could get, you. how I could get that hand. Do you do, I, do you go in the lake significantly before you cut? Yeah, a little bit yeah, go I would say go in a little bit more on your toes. Short cut, hard release, keep the two hands on the handle, my G's yeah, got this. Yeah. Right, he's roller free. No wake to be messing him up. Here we go, let's have a look. How do I do it? How do I do it? Yeah! Yeah, but Luce just got it so clean, man. That was sick. Just also a little heads up for any of you guys out there. If you do see somebody behind you trying an air trick like this, then try to replicate the cut that they are doing. Just because otherwise you end up leaving them lots of rollers and it can be a little bit frustrating when you're really trying to go for an air trick and you can't quite get it because you're getting bounced around by the rollers. So let's see if you can make it now. <laughs> that was it! We got the old helmet smack. <laughs> you got it! <laughs> Come on, you got it, you got it! I don't get it. I don't, I don't get it. Why can't I do it? Uh -huh. Why can't I do it? Gotta watch it. Yeah. Yeah, you're getting bad rollers out there, mate. <laughs> Insanely bad. Tell the Pete, I've already told him, but just tell them what not to do. Just watch who's riding behind you and, and be nice to them. Be courteous out there. Pay be attention to the other riders. We all want to enjoy this. Now, here you go. I don't get it, mate. I don't get it. I Look don't... how far the handle is yeah, getting. Yeah, I know that it's far. <laughs> Obviously, I...
Know that I've just done it a hundred times. It's it's clear that I can three one three. Fuck this. <laughs> the quest for the three one five continues. That's all right, mate. You set out and you smash your objective of getting a three one three done. That's great. That's really good. Well then, gang. Maybe this is the sign out. Maybe this is an entire vlog in itself. A uh, bit of an anti-climax, but... Uh, That's what I'm thinking. I feel like I need to land it for the vlog, but I don't know how. Go. Just go. First lap. You get one go. The, pre the pressure... 315! <laughs> Show me! You can do a 315! Yes, Is that everything that you needed to see? I'm even more confused now. <laughs> Why? Because you just did it like pretty in the middle with a really long cut and didn't go inside at all. That right there is the worst possible cut you could have from someone in front of you. I thought he was going to cut for you. I know. Never mind, G. Love that he was staring at you as well. I know. Right <laughs> and look, and look, you're about to get it stomped right in your face. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. I'm actually ruined after that session. You pathetic loser. That was literally the worst cut. There you go. Weird vibes. Ah, so there we have it. He did not quite get to come away with the 315 today. The challenge still continues. Is Liam going to smash the 315? Let us know in the comments what you think.